Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to make a little duck that jumps around and tries to go into the player and that will be our uh, enemy of course so I'm going to the project and I have this weird duck sheet over here and I'm going to drag it into the project files into the sprites and now I have these ducks over there and I'm going to put this into point multiple go into the sprite editor and change this by for 10 for 10 by 10 10 by 10 slice apply make this maybe let's see if 10 is fine drag one into the scene and okay that's a good size anyways I need to first add a, a box collider to it 2D and make it kind of feel only the duck and also add a rigid body to it and make it freeze the Z and finally let's add the script that will move the duck which will be the duck move script create an add and now we have here the script and the way that we're going to make this is this every two or three seconds it doesn't matter the duck will jump in a certain direction and that direction will depend on a variable for instance that variable will be from 0 to 100 and we will have a probability that we can change so for instance if probability is 50 it means that the duck can will jump 50% of the times into the player and 50% of the times away from the player if the probability is 1 it means that the player will jump 100% of the times into the player and stuff like that so let's get started and the way that we're going to do, the, to do this is through a coroutine so I'm going to put here I in rare and name it something like duck move like so and now to call it here in the start method just put here start coroutine and the coroutine will have the name duck move just like we put there and this will be called save it, right now it's giving us this error and that's because every enumeration has to have uh, yield return something and we're going to make that inside of a while loop so uh, infinite loop so true make a while true meaning it will be an infinite loop in the end we're going to put here a yield return null that is required for by all of the coroutines just like I said in the last tutorial it tells us when the coroutine skips whatever it's doing and it waits until the next in this case it will wait until the next frame to execute this loop again which will do nothing right now but it will in the future anyways what this loop will do is the deck will, will have to wait some time to jump so the way that I'm going to do this is make here public float time to jump public float time to jump and I'm going to change this yield return null to be a yield return new and wait for seconds and it will wait the time to jump to jump so this way only every time to jump seconds this code executes and I'm going to initialize it with two floats like so okay and now let's take care of that probability thing so like I said the way that this is going to work is with a chance we're going to put here public float chance that will go from 0 to 1 I said 100 but it will be 1 to work the same way and here if and now we're going to make here a random value if random dot value and this as you can say as you can see, it returns the floats between 0 and 1. Is if it's smaller than the chance, and remember, the chance is the probability that the duck has to go into the player direction. So if it is smaller than the chance, it means that we want the duck to go into the player direction. So we have to check which is the player direction. For that, we need to create a reference for the player. So what I'm going to put here is a public game object target. 
and if you don't fill it up in the inspector it will be equal to the player so if target equals no the target will be equal to the game object dot find game object with tag player set so that it to be with equal to the player and now here we can do whatever we are going to do so if the target dot transform dot position dot x so if the position of the player is greater than the position of the duck so transform dot position this is the case that we want the duck to go into the direction of the player so if the player x is greater than the x of the duck meaning the player is in the right of the duck then we want the, the duck to move to the right and to move to the right we're going to create here uh, int i and i will always be equal to 1 or to minus 1 and basically if it is 1 the duck will move to the right it, if it is minus 1 it will move to the left so i equals 1 else if meaning if the player is in the left of the duck i equals minus 1 okay else meaning if the chance if the random value is bigger than the chance for instance if the chance is 75% meaning 75% of the time the duck will go into the direction of the player so if it, if this is bigger than 75% then it don't want it to go in, into the direction of the player else so we check the we're going to do the exact, the exact same thing but reverse the, the value so minus 1 and 1 so that it goes in the opposite direction okay and with this done all I have to do is to make the duck jump so get component rigid body 2d dot velocity equals new vector 2 and it will be equal to a certain vector 2 so public vector 2 jump force and here the jump force dot x will be multiplied by the i because the i tells us the, the direction of the duck if the i is positive it will go in the, in the direction positive direction if the i is negative it will go in the negative direction so anyways the jump dot y and now oops let's see what mistake have we done oh i put here transform itself transform save and now this will all should be working fine so let's so for that so we have here the duck and we're going to change the gem force to something that's a bit bigger so I'm going to put that 10 by 10 and the chance so if I put here 0.80 it should 80% of the time should go into the player so let's see if that's working fine So for some reason, whenever it has to go into the player, it's not even executing because as you can see, most of the time it's just standing still. So let's see what's the problem. Oh, and I know the mistake. I put this inside a if clause. My bad. It has to to be done after this if clause part. So right now it should be working fine. So let's see if the chance is one. It means that it 100% of the times should go into the player, so it will go into the player 100% of the time. And if it's zero, it should go away from the player, so zero, it's always going away from the player, as you can see. And you know, you can change the between one and, and zero to get whatever the probability that you want to. And as you can see, sometimes it happens this little thing where the Duck isn't able to, to move. So to fix that I have to is to change the box collider to a circle collider. Circle collider. You know something that fits kinda that kinda fits the duck. So like so. And now it will move freely, as you can see. Because it was getting stuck on the edges. Anyways, with that done.
just like we did with the evil face I'm going to give it uh, uh, a certain radius for it to detect the player and only if it detects the player that will happen I'm going to put here a physics 2 stuff so collider 2D hits and this is a detects all hits in a certain radius physics 2D dot overlap circle all and the main point is the transform that position and the radius can be something so public float radius and put here radius oops radius and now we have to cycle through every one of these colliders check if one of them is the player so for each collider 2D age in hits we have to check if them, one of them is the player so if age dot game object equals the target meaning if the collider that is inside that circle and the target are the same game object then and only then I want this to happen so for instance if the player manages to get away from the from the duck the duck won't go into him, into the into himself. So let's see what's happening. Oh, I forgot to put here an array because this is an array. My bad. And now I'll be work fine. Uh, and just like we did in the other enemies, I'm going to put here a void on draw gizmo so that, so that we can see the radius of the duck. So just like always, gizmo is color equals color dot yellow or something else. And draw and gizmos dot draw a wire sphere with the center on the transform up position and the radius is the radius like so save you know now we should be able to see it if the radius is not zero so radius like 2 let's see if it's working now ok so as you can see because we are not in the range of the duck the duck isn't moving but as soon as I go into the range of the duck the duck starts moving and if I get away the duck doesn't move anymore and that's fine and that's all cool ok there's only one last thing I want to do which is to check if the duck is on the ground before it jumps because if the duck, the duck is not on the ground it shouldn't be able to jump so to do that, it's very similar to what we did over here. So I'm just going to put here another condition in this if clause. And if physics 2D dot raycast and you want to send a raycast down to see if that is on the ground, so if raycast dot trend dot position that goes from the transfer dot position down, so vector two dot down times a certain thing. And that thing we're going to make it here the length down the down length so public float down length and put here times the down length okay if this is true meaning if it is colliding with something it will execute this anyways uh, the right now this will always be true because uh, Whenever the raycast is instantiated, it will hit into the duck himself. So to make it not hit into the duck, just put here physics to the dot start dot dot raycast starting colliders and make it equal to false, so it doesn't hit into the duck. And we can also draw that here with the gizmos. So gizmos dot draw line. That goes from the transform dot position to the transform dot position plus this over here. And I did here a little mistake, so because the distance is specified over here, so down length is over there, and this is just the direction. The direction is just down. Save. Put here parentheses in the com and the semicolon, and 
put this into a vector free and right now you should see a little thing finding out of the deck if you don't that's because we have to change the color so that they don't overlap the same color so gizmos dot color equals color dot blue for instance so right now if I change the down length to something a little bit bigger you can see it over here and I want it to just go out of the collider so just a bit away from the collider and right now only if the, that thing is hitting on something that I can jump so as you can see the duck is jumping Oops. and just to make an example I'm going to put this at 20 and this at 0 and make the time to jump every 0.2 seconds and now you'll see that although the time to jump, jump is every 0.2 seconds the duck won't jump every 0.2 seconds only when he's on the ground and that's basically it for the duck guys so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial